going on, everyone? My name is Spiders, and welcome back to Jumpstart Pokemon Sun Randomize uh, Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Hapu and Plumma Lama Lama Ding Dong for the champion title defense matches. Today, we're going to face off with two more people who would be nobody knows, unless I maybe put it in the thumbnail, in which case people do know, unless you skipped ahead in the video, in which case I don't know why you'd skip ahead, then come back to the star that's. Uh, uh, YouTube, man, how does it work? I don't know, but before we do that, of course, let's have a look at the team to see what we are working with today, the championship team. So, fortunately enough, we didn't lose anyone last episode, so that's good. We have Nice here, level 75 with Dragon Pulse Crunch, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. Plombie, of course, Charizard Airlines with Flamethrower, Smoke Screen, Dragon Claw, and Fire Fang. We got Skullzer here, level 75 with Swords Dance, Aqua Tail, Aqua Jet, and Smart Strike. We have Cartana, level 76, with Flash Cannon, Fleur Cannon, Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. We have Snap Mouth here, with Shadow Ball, Headbutt, Double Team, and Ice Shard. We have Tebu here, with Swords Dance, Thrash, Superpower, and Exorcism. Now, I did explain the whole Mega Stone um, debacle in the last episode, but if you missed it, uh, I gave them Mega Stones because if I don't, then they won't be able to Mega Evolve, and when you soft reset in the Elite Four, like it, it, you know, it resets your game. And if you have Mega Evolutions, Mega Evolve Pokemon in your party, when that happens, it reverts them back to their normal form. But it doesn't do that when they're in a PC. And since I don't have access to a PC right now, I was like, the best thing I can do is give them their Mega Stones, uh, so they'll be in the form that they should be. And we can have some cool Mega Evolution animations doing the battle too. Though that does mean I can only Mega Evolve one per match, which really sucks, uh, but it's more of a hindrance to me, uh, making it a little bit more difficult for me. So, we'll just have to see what exactly happens here. Hopefully we get someone new, because I had a little bit of difficulty finding someone new last time, even though there was like seven people for us to fight, so. Ooh, hello, Faba. How are you doing, son? Mm, champion. Now that is a title that everyone in Lola would bow before. I'm already a champion when it comes to power and prestige, after all. Mm, taking this title would be my just desserts. No, see, it's not gonna be like that, though, Faba. It's not gonna be like that. See, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna destroy you, and you're gonna run back with your tail between your legs, you're gonna go back to your little eighth death foundation hole, and you're gonna cry for a couple days. And it's gonna be fine, it's okay to cry, it's fine. Ooh, a Vespiquen! I respect that! I respect that! Shout out to the Vespiquen that we had right at the start of the series, that unfortunately got destroyed when we tried to use it. But it's okay, but we are in a, sitting in a very, very nice position right here, because we can fire off a Stone Edge, Though I am a little bit scared of the bug type move, so like last episode, I'm gonna go straight for the Z move. Continental crush this thing, which is gonna be absolutely overkill, but I'm scared of missing Stone Edge. Always scared of missing Stone Edge. It just oh it just happens! It just happens all the time! But hopefully with the Continental Crush, we should be able to wipe out this best we can pretty easily. We did we did the same with the Moltres as well. Oh my god, this thing is gonna get this bug is gonna get squashed! This bug is gonna get squashed. Look at this. Look at this happen. It's not even fair! It's not even fair! It's dead. It's dead! Five SP Quinn. There was no way it was gonna take that. There was no way. Alright, nice little experience. And of course, as you see, we get that nice little level up to- Ooh, Hariyama! I can also respect that because- Wait! Are you taking on the Pokemon that we had at the start of the, the, the Let's Play? Like... Something's a bit suspect about this. Okay. Well, why don't we try a Floor Cannon? from Magiana and see uh, exactly how well that is taken. Our survey says, probably not gonna be taken very well. Probably not gonna be taken very well at all. Unless this thing can do like, monster damage to me, which I, I don't think it will be able to, I, I really don't. I'm not I'm not expecting much, much from a Hariyama. And we have speed of course, so this is gonna absolutely destroy this thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you were so good in our Let's Play, you, you were really fantastic and I loved you Hariyama, but I do have to kill you. Okay, what one of our Pokemon did you steal next? Like, you seem to have an affinity for stealing my Pokemon, so what, what's coming up next? Ooh, Knit Nice gets a nice little level. Knit Nice gets a Knit Nice little level. Decidueye! Are you serious? Decidueye! I'm offended. You're literally stealing all the Pokemon I've ever used or like. Like, what is wrong? Uh, uh, at least have a shiny one. No, if, if I said that, it's gonna be shiny. It's gonna piss people off and be like, oh, you should be shiny. It just, just came out of shiny. It's gonna be normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's normal to destroy. Uh, actually, I do want to show off the really cool Decidueye GX card that I have. I, I showed off the GX cards last episode, but 
take a closer look at that card. Like, how cool is that? The lighting isn't very good, but still, how how cool is that? This is my favorite Pokemon card I've ever gotten. I absolutely love the Decidueye family. I have the whole family now. I have the whole, look at this, hold on. I know, I, I'm, I'm wasting time, so I just want to show off these cool cards I have, all right? Like, I have the whole family. Oh, I want to get them in the right order. Let's see, Decidueye, GX, you go at the end. There we go, oh, there we go. We get the whole family, look at that. The family is here. I love it. My favorite seventh gen Pokemon. Anyway, I should probably get back to battling. I just wanted to show off these cool cards I have, okay? I just wanted to show them off because I'm happy about them. All right, let me knock out this thing. Ooh, you lived and you spirit shackle. That could be an issue. Does that mean I can't switch out even when this thing gets knocked out? Because I, I feel like I should be able to switch out still. But another flamethrower will be able to do this thing in, at the very least. So let me knock out this, I'm sorry this is you. I didn't want to do this, that makes me sad. I love Decidueye, I love this whole line. Dartrix is this little emo dude and he's, he's great. And you have another, you have another grass type starter. I mean, I might as well just stay in, right? Charizard versus Venusaur, let's go. Let's go. All right, sweet. We got a, we got a nice little matchup here. We have a very nice little matchup here. All right. It is a battle of the first gen starters. And of course, as we know, we do have that, uh, oh, 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 that is, okay, that does damage, but you're gonna knock yourself out with that. Oh, uh, that's the second episode in a row when we've had someone knock themselves out. <laughs> that's kind of funny. It's the second episode in a row. And the last Pokemon is a Skarmory. Now, I'm not at the right health to sit here and beat up a Skarmory, I don't think. Um, what do you have, Nice. You don't have much, but you do have Dragon Pulse, so I'm gonna have to rely on that. Because if the Skarmory comes in, it would, it would live, the, uh, it would live the flamethrower with its sturdy ability, and then it would go for Brave Bird. Now, while it would knock itself out, my Plombie would die. And then I don't wanna, oh, wait, oh, oh, I don't really have much for you, actually. Dragon, I forgot the Dragon Pulse wasn't that very effective. Oh, well, uh, how about Crunch? Uh, cr Crunch? Ooh, that's just, okay, that's okay. And we get the low defense. Ooh, Steel Wing, okay. Now we take that, we eat those. Oh my God, that's zero. So you just canceled out that defense lower I got, which kind of annoys me, but that's fine, because we can sit here and we can crunch for days. We actually eat that up so well. Why do we take that so well? I would ex I, I would really think that Stab Steel Wing would do a little bit more, but apparently not. Knit Nice is way too bulky. Knit Nice is way too bulky. All right, Skarmory, you, won't, you, won't, you ain't got much left on you. You have not got much left in you. You're gonna have to go now, sorry. I'm sorry, Skarmory friend, but you're done. Faba is done. Now, I think that Faba only comes on the first of the month, which is why I, 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 I went into my um, my settings and I switched it to the first of the month. I don't know if that means he's gonna keep on popping up every single time or if it's just like uh, you have a chance to encounter on the first of the month. I should probably, what I should do is I should go back and change the dates so that he doesn't pop up anymore. That's, that's probably what I should do. And this child has. I've beaten you, Quishmook. Is that what I did? I, I've beaten you. Oh, I'm champion. That's right. I beat you. I admit you have potential. I've beaten everyone. What are you talking about? I have potential. You proved to me that my judgment of you when we first met was flawless, as usual. You are a worthy champion. Now well, at least he admits that. At least he admits that. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to go ahead and go into my system settings and change the date just off of the first because that's what we have to do okay where there we go go into my system settings uh, we're gonna close the suspended software because we need to soft reset anyway so there's no reason not to all right no signal what do you mean there's no signal this takes so long to, to boot up it's fine why is it taking so long well guys i've uh broken my ds <laughs> No, it's fine. Okay, other settings. Let's go ahead and modify this. Uh, date and time. Today's date. I'm just gonna knock that off the first a couple days. So we're just gonna say it's the 4th of February, even though it's definitely not the 4th of February. Uh, but it's not the first, which is the main thing. Then we'll head back off and we'll get back into the game because that's what we need to do. We need to get back into the game. I actually need to mark off that we've taken on Faba now. So we are... Is that halfway through? We are halfway through these fights! Which means the uh, the finding of new people is gonna be a little bit more difficult as we go on, I'm sure. 
And in fact, I'm very confident that the next person we battle will be someone that we've, or the next person that walks up is going to be someone that we've already battled before. But we'll see. We have, a, we still have a lot of the, uh, the more unique ones to go. Like Kukui, Ryuki, 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 Ryuki. You got Tristan still to go. I'm excited. I'm excited. I really want to get Ryuki and Kukui in the same episode. But we'll have to watch this to see what happens, really. Let's have to see what happens. Okay. Back in the champion chamber. Who will be the next challenger? I like how they just walk in. Like, as soon as I sit down, they're like, Hey, what's up? I'm coming to beat you up. Oh, we got Sophocles! Nice! Oh, we do get someone that we haven't battled before. Oh, wait, I didn't... Oh, no, I didn't... I didn't read the text. Oh, no. Oh, I feel like a big dumb doofus. Oh, I'm a big dumb doofus. Oh, why have I done this? Okay. We have challenged by Captain Sophocles. All right, what you got, buddy? What you got, little friend? Oh, he's a Stoutland. That's actually a little bit scary. Stoutland is strong. Stoutland is strong. And we led off with Tevu. Probably not the best thing I could have done. Um, I will switch out into... Cartana, I suppose? I don't know if this thing's gonna have like a fighting type move or his rock type move. It's gonna have some kind of type move that's gonna hurt me, I can tell. It's gonna have like some really powerful normal type move too. Okay, let's take down. That's fine. Uh, we do take that relatively okay, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna fire off a flash cannon here. See what you can do. I'm gonna outspeed you. We're knocking out. Oh, the Giga Impact! Woo, okay. Still not doing too much, but we do. That's okay. That's a nice little move you got there. All right, Stalin, you can need to go. Oh, we don't even take, you You take that really well. All right, I'm gonna have to take you out here. Floor Cannon it is. Even though you're recharging, there was no reason to fire up a Floor Cannon, but I just wanna do it because of the effect. I just wanna do it because of, look at that animation. That is such a good animation. Don't you wanna see that animation? Because I do. All right, there goes Stoutland. <laughs> Rest in peace, brave Stoutland. You will never be forgotten. Look at his battle stance. Hold on. What is this? What is this? Can I sit here and do this? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle like this. Tyr Tyranitar, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't want to send in Tevu. I really don't. Do I have any of the fighting type moves on anyone else? Um, we have Skullza here. Now let's, 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 let's give Skullza a go, let's give Skullza a go. Hold on, I, I need to get back to my stance. All right, ready, here we go. How does he throw Pokeballs? I wanna see how he throws Pokeballs. Oh, he didn't even show it! I'm not like too far away from the face cam now. Hello! Did you miss me? I'm coming way back. Oh no, I'm rolling over my wires now. There you go! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight. Uh, I, oh, I had the Water Liam Z there. I'm just gonna go straight Aqua Tail. Hyper Beam! Bro! Chill <laughs> Jesus! I'm gonna smack you in the face with an Aqua Tail. That is, ooh, that is just a two KO, and he has to recharge. What is it with Sophocles and the recharging moves? I don't know what this guy's doing. Let me smack you again. And it is gonna take you out. Goodbye, Tyranitar. Hyper beaming Tyranitar, because, cause, just cause why not? Because, because why not? Just hyper beaming Tyranitar. Jesus, criminy crikey. But okay, we taking that thing out. Licky, oh, licky, licky, okay. I think it's time to make a ball. I think it's time to Mega Evolve. I don't know what a Licky Licky is gonna do, but we'll see. <laughs> I have super power for this thing, and it's not a fairy type, so. Oh, look at him! He's disgusting. Licky Licky is one of the most irrelevant fourth gen evolutions. Because you know how fourth gen gave ev evolutions to a, like, a lot of Pokemon? Like, Licky Licky is probably the most irrelevant one. I'm just gonna go for a normal X Scissor here, just to kind of weaken it down a bit, because I don't think it's super power will be able to one shot this thing. I do have a minus attack nature, which really sucks for this, but we'll see how this goes. So we do fire off the X's, so this is gonna do a little bit of damage. Ah, oh, that's nice, that's nice damage. Slam is also gonna do a little bit of damage, and we take the sandstorm damage, which of course the Licky Licky will take too. Now, I'm fairly sure that a Thrash will kill this thing, but do I wanna lock myself into Thrash? Actually, the X's and uh, sandstorm combination will lock this thing out too, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let me go ahead and destroy you, Rook. Oh, but it's not. And we miss. Or we dodge. The, uh, the slam. So that's good. Oh, and it just doesn't kill it. You, you the kind of person that heals? You don't heal. You don't give a care about your Pokemon. Okay, I see you. I see you, Sophocophocophalese. 
I see you, I have a Coffalies. Okay, the sandstorm is gone, good stuff. He has his totem! He actually has his totem! And that's terrifying! Because what do I have for that? Uh, we have Tebu, weak to electric. Plombie, weak to electric. Katana is sitting here pretty nicely. Weak to electric, we got weak to bug. This is actually a really good little move to get. I mean, I could Continental Crush with High Dragon, but the Bug Buzz risk is there. Um, I'm gonna go into Katana. This is actually kind of terrifying. Maybe he'll go for Thunder, and maybe he'll miss. That's that's kind of what I'm banking on right here. Ooh, Vika Vault. See, this thing is strong as heck. It's not quick. Um, its defenses are decent, but it has huge special attack. So, I'm a little bit scared of this thing. Okay, Viva Cobalt, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Zap Ah, oh, the Zap Cannon! Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Good news, everyone. I'm just gonna fire off a quick Shadow Ball to weaken this thing down a bit. And a Floor Cannon next turn. I think she'll probably be able to knock this thing out. As we get the Spadef drop, and we dodge the Zap Cannon again. What are you doing with Zap Cannon? Alright, you need to go. They all have Zap Cannon for some reason. Like, not even Thunder, Zap Cannon. I don't get it. I don't understand, but Vikamal is done. Your totem wasn't gonna help you today, Sophocles, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was pretty good though, I like that. And a Della Bird. I'm, I'm staying in. I can flash kind of this thing. A Della Bird, that's adorable. Della Bird, more like, or it's your last Pokemon too. It's time for the flash cannon. I'm sorry, Della Bird, but you gotta go. <laughs> Della Bird, more like Dead Bird. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's dead, it's gone. Dead and gone. I couldn't get it done. Don't worry about it, my precious Pokemon. Yeah, it's, no, no, it's your fault. It's entirely your fault. You are, you should actually feel quite ashamed of all that. That was terrible. You're great, Patters. You understand Pokemon so well and know so much about Pokemon battles. I see that thinking this up. Listen now to try and defeat the champion is the highest form of fun. But guess what that means? That means that once again, we have defended our title as the strongest trainer in the region, of course, because we are the best. Tebu, you're still not mega evolved, even though you should be. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and soft reset once again, because we need to get back to the champion's room, because there are still four more battles to be had. And we have, um, Tristan. Oh, we have the youngster! I'm very excited for the youngster battle. I'm excited for the youngster battle. So we battle soft, please. We have Moliane. Who is definitely not gonna become champion. I'd be embarrassed if I got beat by him. But I guess we'll see what happens. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do destroy that like button. Right before you on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.